Hey YouTube, so this video is going to be a quick makeup tutorial. It's actually of a, a purple ombre lip. So, yeah, I'm going to try to make this quick because I know you're going to hear sound in the background because people in my house are awake and moving. And I'm going to go somewhere, so yeah. So... Uh, if you don't know, ombre is kind of like fading, like gradient of colors. So I'm going to start with dark and then like fade it to light. And if I look shiny because I'm hot and because I just got out the tub and I'm all greasy. So I'm going to start with this Wet n Wow Color Icon Lip Liner in Purple by actually it says it's an eyeliner pencil, but I use it for a lip liner. And this is purple slash violet and I don't see the number. Well it's kinda of faded, so well not my lips. You're going to line them not how you normally would. Just line like the outside of it. And then around that bottom lip, the corners a little bit more. Like that. And now you look crazy. So, I'm going to go over that with a black radiant lipstick, and this is kind of a deep honey purple. I don't remember the name of it. It's like Plum Orchid or something like that. But, yeah, this color, that color, I don't know. But I'm just going to line over the lip liner with that because this lasts longer than the lip liner. And they're kind of similar, just this one's more pinkish red tone and the lip liner is blue tone. <coughs> but they're both dark, so it does what it needs to do. Um, Next, I'm going to go in... So the fading to lighter part is Lavender Tint 301 by NK, and I dropped mine, and that's why it's all ugly, and sh like looks like it's got chewed up on, but I don't, and I only use, I hate this lipstick, honestly, but I only use it when I like it for my ombre looks. Because it's like really, really creamy. I get, I, I think you guys could see that it's like really creamy and gross. But it, for whatever reason, it works good for this ombre lip. So whatever. Yeah. Now that looks all creamy and weird, I'm going to go back in with my lip liner to fill in the spots and fade it in a little bit more, ever so slightly. And there's a mirror right here, then we're right here, so I'm not kind of just looking off. Touch it up a little bit. And 
And for the last part, to make it a little bit lighter, I'm going to use this Sugar Blossom. Well, it's in Sugar Blossom, but this is the CG Smoother Lip Color. And I didn't like this color at first because it's like ashy. But then I was experimenting one day when I was trying to do this lip at first. And that's the color. And it kind of just lightens it up even more. I put this on top of colors to make it lighter instead of using like a white or a silver. So it will work for me. I didn't waste, completely waste that dollar. Now, for the final time, I'm going to go back in with the lip liner. So it'll actually look faded. Go back over it with the lipstick for staying power. And I think I'm done. Yay. So this whole lip thing situation, every time I wear it, I get a lot of compliments from people asking me how I did it. So that's why I decided to do it and make a tutorial on it. And it goes with my whole outfit, you know. Everything goes with the bow. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to thumbs up if you actually liked it. Um, I'm going to try to push out more videos, but this is kind of more of a convenient one for me because it matches my outfit anyway. If I have time, I'll do the Azusa eyeshadow palette uh, review, so it'll be up next weekend. And, yeah. Bye, guys.